Hello, in this flight review video, I flew Starlux Airlines JX772 from Singapore to Taipei on business class. JX772 is a 3 pm flight and it departs from Singapore Changi Airport Terminal 1. Starlux Airlines check in counters are located at row 13, so you can alight near door 5 if you're arriving by car. After checking in and getting my boarding pass, I decided to go to immigration. After clearing immigration, you will see the duty-free shops. For our business class passengers, you will be invited to use the SATS Premier Lounge. Make a turn to your left after clearing immigration. SATS Premier Lounge is a small lounge and it can get pretty busy at certain periods of time. There are various seats available from sofas, lounge chairs, high stools and semi-private pots. I've also managed to check out the shower. Let's check out the food and drink offerings. After finishing my meal, I decided to head to the gate. There was also a delay in the boarding process, so the time was 2.47 and the flight was supposed to take off at 3. Boarding only started around 2.50. For this flight, it was a Airbus A350-900 aircraft and business class seats are configured in a one-to-one -one configuration. This is my seat 7K. The use of dark grey and metallic tones in the business class suites elevates the whole space. In front of the seat is a 24-inch in-flight entertainment screen. The in-flight entertainment screen is pretty responsive and the movie selection is pretty decent, however it might not be as great as other airlines. Wi-Fi is also available after takeoff. Even though the footwell is pretty spacious at the front, it does get narrow towards the end. On the side, you'll find a small storage area to store your items. There's also some literature, such as the safety card. Behind it is the wine list, the food menu, as well as the sickness bag. And lastly, the in-flight magazines. On the side console, you'll find a small storage for you to store small items. 
Next to it is the main control for the seat, window shades and the call bell. On the side compartment you will find a mirror, a water bottle, as well as the headset. The USB ports and the international plugs can be found here. The remote for the IFE is also on the side and a wireless charging port. As you can see, it was a problem trying to charge my phone because of the bump on the camera. This is the reading light. This is the noise cancelling headphones. It's quite similar to the Sony one and it's probably the Sony model. And there's also a Starlux logo printed on it on the side, which is pretty nice. Slippers were provided as well as a pillow. The blanket is a fleece like material and apparently is made of recycled polyester. The headrest is cladded in leather and it gives a very luxurious feel to it. Each suite has a door and it needs to be opened during taxi and takeoff. On the other side, you will find a coat hook. The crew went around serving the welcome drink and the towel. Unfortunately, there is no choice of drink. Let's check out the menu. This is the wine list.
After reaching cruising altitude, the crew came to unlock the doors, and this is how you close it. Meal service also began. And this is how you pull out the tray table. The tray table is pretty thick and it looks pretty solid, but the thing is there's this hinge at the side and it makes it very flimsy. So you can see that it's quite unstable as you pull it out further. I ordered the vegetarian oriental and this is the starters. I also had the bubble tea at the side. And as you can see the table is shaking very vigorously. Then came the salad, and I thought it was the main, it was just a bigger portion of the previous dish I had. I must say the salt and pepper was pretty cute. And finally the main dish was a rice with cabbage, tofu and mushrooms. To end off, I was presented a plate of fruits and jelly on the side. There's also a small chocolate. Cabin lights was also deemed after meal service. Let's check out the lavatory.
Some concluding thoughts, as this was my first time flying Starlux, the business class suite is an amazing product. My only complaint was just the tray table. The crew were great and attentive as well. The food tasted good, but I also believe it could be better improved. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do give a like and subscribe to my channel for more. See you!